comfortable. So I'm going to allow him to speak and pour some things into you. But it's his coach, Tony Barkley. All right. All right. All right. How do I do? Good. Good. That's the best you got. How you doing? Good. Good. All right. Listen, she went ahead and took care of that, that bio. I appreciate it. By the way, it's, um, you say Time Water, right? It's Ambassadors for Hope. We are a business consulting company and also a financial education company as well. But uh, just by you inviting me, I appreciate it. By the way, please give your coaches and your staff and yourself a round of applause for making that play. And uh, so just a couple notes I'm gonna share with you uh, real quick, not much time. The message today is about overcoming and beating the odds. Can I get amen to that? Amen. Yeah, it's about overcoming and beating those odds. And I know a little something about that, you know, just to piggyback on what she said, my dad was shot and killed when I was two years old. Tough pill to swallow. So he lost everything, mom lost everything. Then we were shipped off to the projects of Philadelphia. Rats and roaches and drive-by shootings and bread and butter sandwiches. It was a tough time. Anybody know, anybody might be a tough time? Anybody know about that? Raise your hand if you know about that. So, so mom and daddy couldn't take care of us, obviously. Now I'm sent off to an orphanage. Now I'm not raised by mom, let alone dad. Tough times, right? Well, see, so, so after that, then I'm shipped off to the military. Now I'm away from family again. Anybody, uh, military soon to be anybody? Kind of sort of? Okay. What brand? Are you? I love it. I love it. I love it. So after serving 20 years, working on President Reagan's Star Wars program, then I lost my government job after the military, couldn't find work my second time going through poverty. Remember, it's in my notes, tough don't, times don't last, but tough people do. I repeat, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So now I'm a grown man with two kids, couldn't take care of my kids, now I'm falling tough times, I'm homeless. Tough time, right? Yeah. But then I was introduced to an opportunity, like you have on this field, following this great coach. I have an opportunity with Citigroup. They were looking for young people who want to be entrepreneurs. My hand went up. I had a question. Where's the paperwork? Sign me up. I got involved. Did everything they told me to do. It was very coachable, like many of you men. Six months later, I was blessed to earn my first hundred grand. A year after that, quarter million. A year after that, half a million. Money's not everything, but poverty is nothing either. Can I say amen? Yeah. amen? And so I've learned some leadership things from that. I learned uh, about developing men and women, but I also learned about hard work and overcoming some obstacles. So here's the deal. You know, <laughs> this is interesting. Anybody feel like they're on a journey right now? A couple of people? All right, let me ask you a better question. Anybody want to be happy? No, straight up, because I don't have all day. You guys got to eat, because I could go forever. But I'm going to go right to the heat of my message, OK? You ready? How do you spell happiness? Somebody real quick, how many P's in happiness? Two. If, if anybody give me the right amount of P's in happiness, I'll give you a $20 bill. Two. 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 Come on, somebody already know this. Two. Two. You're all wrong. Look, don't ever forget this. There are five P's in happiness, OK? So take some mental notes. Five P's. My man said, what? When you go to school? So so listen. So you got to know the ingredients to be happy and be a great man of the Bluffton town. And as you go on, here's the five P's in happiness. Very first P, you got to know your purpose. Now, you might say, well, man, I'm a little bit too young to know my purpose. That's OK. Keep your eyes open, your heads up, and that purpose will be revealed to you on your way coming out of school. The next P is priority. So you got a priority this weekend, do you not? Mm -hmm. yes, to go win, right? Yes, go win, right? Yes, sir. So once you know that priority, don't ever leave it. Don't be like a squirrel all over the place. Stick to that priority. The next P, again, we're talking about the five P's in happiness, is passion. That's how you're going to smoke them on Friday. you got to be passionate. Anybody passionate about winning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, passion is the extra kick that gets the job done. Passion is the hot sauce. And passion is one of the reasons why you're here today. Mommy and Dad, your mom and Dad knew something about that. That went over your head. Okay, 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 okay. We're well, almost done. And then, and then, and then listen, then we get this thing called peace. When we're talking about five P's. First P is what? Purpose. 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 Second Purpose. P is what? Priority. 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 Third P is what? Passion. Woo! You got a team on your hands. I got a hundred plus. Uh, okay, now, hold on. We don't wait. The fourth P is peace. You know, I heard something discouraging the other day about our men and women in Bluffton, I, young men. I heard that they're depressed. No, no, no. They're just overwhelmed sometimes. But you know what? If you can listen to your coach and do the right thing, you'll get some peace to do some great things, okay? What's first P? Purpose. And then lastly, you get the thing that all you want to do, whether you play NFL or not, you want to be prosperous, right? You want to have prosperity, right? And that's not just in the cake, the Benjamin, the fat back, the cheddar, the cheese, whatever y'all young kids call it. Prosperity is also about your health, your relationships, your relationship with God and all those things. So prosperity is the way to go. But here's the big key. 
See this coach right here, this head coach? Yes, sir. Did y'all clap for that head coach? Because I ain't hit it. <laughs> but I mean, those of you, you have coaches and mentors, starting with your mayor. Give her a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. With all these women, men, women back here, Mr. Siebert, and of course, Jeffco, give them a round of applause. So, so when you get ready to leave this school and go on, seek out mentorship, seek out coaching, seek out people who have your answers and your solutions. Let me give you a scripture from the Bible real quickly. We're going to bring it home. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools will be destroyed. Look, we're not destroying Bobcat Nation, are we not? Yes, sir. So we've got to be wise by listening to people who are wise. So here's what you do for the rest of your life. And this is just what they taught you. Every single day you wake up passionate. Every single day you work on, wake up turned on, motivated. Every single day you work up fired up, and every single day you wake up committed to be a better person than you were the night before. Can you do that? Yes, sir. So we're going to win on Friday, are we not? Yes, sir. Here's how we're going to do it, because it's all about what you think. You got the fundamentals down, right? Yes, sir. It's all about what you think. So I'm going to leave with this poem. You ready? If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like the win but think you can't, it's almost a sense you won't. Mm. If you think you're outclassed, you are, for you've got to think high to rise. Success begins in a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. Ooh. Life battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, mm -hmm. but sooner or later, the man who wins mm -hmm. is the man who thinks he can. Ooh. Bob, Whoa. Whoa. Whoa.